Friends of YouTube, welcome back. Today we have another three minute spoiler free thriller review. And what are we talking about today? We are talking about The Last Flight by Julie Clark. Now, first I just wanna do a quick poll question to you guys as a bit of market research. I wanna know, do you guys want spoilers in these reviews or do you like that there are no spoilers. I'm trying to figure out like, have most of you guys already read the book or are you considering the book? Are you in the middle of reading it? Let me know down in the comments if you want spoilers or if you don't, I would love to know that. Okay, now let's get into what this book, what this book is about. So basically the story starts out with these two women who both pretty much hate their lives. They hate their lives so much that they serendipitously find themselves sitting next to each other in an airport and they decide to completely abandon their previous lives, switch places with each other, change identities, and change plane tickets. Let's be honest, you know that you're desperate when you are willing to change lives with someone who absolutely hates their life and is doing anything to escape it. You know what I mean? And then the story becomes even crazier when one of those planes ends up crash. When I started this book, I absolutely hated it. I, I really did not like the first few chapters of this book. I was very close to DNFing it um, for a few reasons. I felt like it was just overkill at the very beginning. The plot seemed too contrived where it was like, all of these different plot elements and like tropes, they were all thrown in in the first few chapters. And it just felt like the author was like, I don't want you to be bored. So I'm going to throw the whole entire kitchen sink into these first few chapters. I didn't like that. Also the writing style, especially the beginning, it just felt a little bit too contrived. Also, it felt like it was just trying too hard. It like was overly flowery. And I just, I didn't like it from the beginning. However, when I feel like I've purchased a hard copy of a book, I, it's really hard for me to DNF it because whenever I see that book on a shelf or on my table, it's just looking at me, you know, like glaring, like, Sarah, why couldn't you finish this book? You loser. I just, I can't handle that. So I, I have to just keep reading. Now, the good news is, is the more I read of this book, I actually did start to like it more. I found that this book did a really great job at establishing a, a real sense of impending doom of danger. It was really a true thriller in every sense of the word. You had the ticking clock, you had the villain or villains, should I say. It had really all the elements of a good thriller. That being said, I still only ended up about three stars on this book. First of all, because I really hated the beginning and it took me a while to get into the story. Also, I felt that the, the main concept of the book was interesting, but the subplots that are really kind of meant to add depth and dimension to the story, I felt that they were not that interesting. I felt that the subplots were just kind of boring in my opinion. I don't know, I ended up with three stars for this book, but of course, that's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments your opinion on this book. And until next time, guys, bye.